गाइस वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल आज थोड़ा सा हम फॉर्मेट चेंज करेंगे एंड वी हैव अ ब्लैक बोर्ड और अ व्हाइट बोर्ड वेयर वील बी डिस्कसिंग द फोर टाइप्स ऑफ रियल एस्टेट इन्वेस्टमेंट्स दैट यू कैन मेक इन कनाडा और फॉर दैट मैटर एनीवेयर इन द वर्ल्ड सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड So now that I am deep into real estate I have realized after talking to so many people who have invested into the Canadian market for over 2 decades that there are four types of real estate investors or there are four types of real estate investment because kai baar kya hota hai ki ek banda jo hai wo in charon mein bhi lie kar sakta hai so let's just look at the four types of real estate investors that there are or the investments that you can make so i just do this इन टू एन एक्स एंड वाई एक्सेस आई डोंट नो ये ठीक से नजर आ रहा है कि नहीं आ रहा आ रहा है एंड द फर्स्ट टाइप इज दैट यू आर इन्वेस्टिंग फॉर शेल्टर दूसरा इज यू आर इन्वेस्टिंग फॉर कैश फ्लो द थर्ड वन इज दैट यू इन्वेस्ट फॉर एक्विटी एंड द फोर्थ वन इज इसके बारे में हम थोड़ी देर में डिस्कस करेंगे बिकॉज आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू स्पिल द वीन्स ऑन वॉट द फोर्थ काइंड ऑफ इन्वेस्टर्स आर बट देर आर अ लॉड ऑफ देम एंड इट्स अ लिटल बिट डेंजरस सो वील टॉक अबाउट दैट आफ्टर वी टॉक अबाउट द अदर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट सो मैंने ये पूरा जो ग्राफ बनाया था वो मैंने साइड पर डाल दिया है सो यू आर इन्वेस्टिंग फॉर शेल्टर यू आर इन्वेस्टिंग फॉर कैश फ्लो यू आर इन्वेस्टिंग फॉर एक्विटी और यू आर इन्वेस्टिंग दिस मिस्ट्री इन्वेस्टमेंट दैट वील टॉक अबाउट इन द एंड ऑफ द वीडियो तो सबसे पहले बात करते हैं वेन यू आर इन्वेस्टिंग फॉर शेल्टर सो दिस काइंड ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट इज नथिंग बट दैट यू आर बाइंग वेयर यू आर गोन स्टे तो जहां पे भी हम रहने वाले हैं वो वाली हम इन्वेस्टमेंट करेंगे इसका एक फायदा ये होता है दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एवरी वन नीड्स अ होम टू स्टे यू स्टॉप पेइंग रेंट सो दैट्स ऑल गुड वो हम अलग एक वीडियो में बात करेंगे द एडवांटेजेस एंड व्हेन यू शुड थिंक ऑफ रेंटिंग वर्सेज बाइंग वो एक अलग पूरी वीडियो बन सकती है उस पर बट दिस इज द काइंड ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट दैट यू आर मेकिंग वेन यू वॉन्ट अ शेल्टर यू वॉन्ट टू पे योर एक्विटी यू वॉन्ट अ मॉगेज इसमें कुछ वॉच आउट्स होते हैं बट इसका एक एडवांटेज होता है दी एडवांटेज इज दैट यू कैन एक्चुअली बाय दिस हाउस इन कैनेडा फॉर एज लिटल एज फाइव परसेंट एंड दैट्स एन एडवांटेज ओवर वेन यू आर इन्वेस्टिंग फॉर कैश फ्लो और फॉर एक्विटी बिकॉज इफ यू आर इन्वेस्टिंग योर मनी टू गेट रेंट you have to do a 20% down that's mandatory so the only reason why the canadian government allows you to do a less than 10 20% down is because you are buying for your own living but when you are making this investment there are certain watch outs that you have to have to take care of number one is do not buy something that you cannot afford to live in i always talk about the rule of 35 the rule of 35 basically says that if you add your mortgage your property tax your condo fee if you are buying a condo to condo fee hogi ya fir your utility bill if you add all these four up this should be less than 35% of your net income and net income is after tax income whatever you're getting in the month is pe humne ek puri video banayi thi do check that video out i link that in the description but it's really important that we are buying something that we can pay in mortgage against we are buying something that we can afford to live in and only then it will be a blessing otherwise it will be a burden and the second watch out and a lot of people make this mistake is that they actually go to mortgage agents that are falsifying incomes and let's not kid ourselves bahut baar aapko ye cheez suggest kari jayegi market ke andar that अरे आप इनकम की टेंशन मतलब आपकी कम इनकम है हम ये कर देंगे हम वो कर देंगे दिस फॉल्सिफाइंग इनकम इज रियली डेंजरस स्पेशली इफ यू आर अ पी आर इफ इट बिकम्स अ क्रिमिनल ऑफेंस दैट एक्चुअली मीन्स दैट यू कैन एक्चुअली लूज योर पी आर एंड यू कैन बी आस टू गो बैक टू योर कंट्री सो यू नीड टू बी वेरी केयरफुल दैट यू डू नॉट इंडल्ज इन केनी एनी काइंड ऑफ फ्रॉड सो ऑलवेज 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 गो बाय द बुक वेन यू आर बाइंग योर फर्स्ट इन्वेस्टमेंट बाय स्मॉल इफ दैट्स वॉट इट टेक्स बट डू नॉट इंडल्ज इन फ्रॉड owner occupied properties ke andar this is the biggest problem that we have and we need to take care that we are working with the right individual so that you are not indulging in something that you will regret after a few years and the problem with fraud is also that agar income falsify ho bhi gayi tab bhi hame mortgage to deni padegi na har month mortgage to utni deni hai agar hamara 100000 dollars hamari salary hai and if you are showing 150000 dollars by whatever you know ways and means that some people do it 
यू स्टिल हैव टू पे द मॉगेज यू स्टिल बी गेटिंग द सेम अमाउंट ऑफ मनी ऐसा तो है नहीं कोई मॉगेज ब्रोकर या रियल्टर आपको कोई पैसे आके दे रहा महीने की ये लो जी आप मॉगेज पे कर रहे हो सो डू नॉट इंडल्ज इन फ्रॉड इट्स नॉट वर्थ इट इट विल नॉट बी एज पर द रूल ऑफ थर्टी फाइव एनी वेज एंड इट्स नॉट रियली समथिंग दैट यू शुड इंडल्ज इन एंड जो थर्ड थिंग जो बहुत सारे लोगों को लगता है द हाउस एट योर बाइंग इज नॉट एन एसेट इट इज स्टिल अ लाइबिलिटी बिकॉज यू आर स्टेइंग इन दैट हमें शेल्टर चाहिए ही चाहिए इसको अगर बेच दोगे तो यू हैव टू बाई इन अदर हाउस वे यू हैव टू लिव और यू हैव टू रेंट इट आउट तो वो जो पैसे जा रहे हैं टू वर्ड्स मॉगेज दैट स्टिल अ लाइबिलिटी बिकॉज इज टेकिंग मनी फ्रॉम योर बैंक अकाउंट एज लॉन्ग इज यूर नॉट हाउस हैकिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल कई लोग क्या करते हैं दे एक्चुअली लिव इन वन रूम एंड देन रेंट आउट ऑल दी अदर रूम एंड दैट देन बिकम्स हाउस हैकिंग एंड दैट कैन बिकम एन एसेट इफ ऑल दी अदर रूम आर एक्चुअली पेइंग फॉर योर रूम और फॉर दी एंटायर मॉगेज then that can become an asset but usually most people when they buy their owner occupied houses the money is actually going out of the pocket and therefore it's a liability the only difference is that it's very different from a car because car is a depreciating liability whereas a house is an appreciating liability that's the only difference because 10 years down the line obviously you'll have more equity in the house because the house has appreciated versus a car or other things that we buy they are depreciating and they actually lose value over time so that's the only difference so do not think that this house is an asset it's still a liability now let's talk about the third type of real estate investing which is investing for cash flow iska matlab ye hai ki every single month when you are paying your mortgage when you are paying your bills your rent that you are getting when you rent out this place is greater than all the expenses taken together ab expenses mein you need to make sure that you are including everything you are including the mortgage expense that you have jo bhi mortgage loge uski ek mortgage jayegi bank ko there is condo fees if you are buying a condo then there is maintenance so for instance kai baar property management for example if you are buying in windsor for example we bought in calgary we'll have a property manager that will be taking care of the property they will be taking 8% of the rent so that expense has to be accounted for then there is home insurance that you need to buy so all those expenses need to be taken together and if the rent that you are getting is greater than all the expenses then you have bought a property that is generating cash flow ab aapne bahut baar suna hoga about something called as बर बर बेसिकली मीन्स दैट यू बाय बी मतलब बाय यू रेनोवेट यू रेंट एंड यू रीफाइनेंस इसका मतलब बेसिकली है यू बाय अ प्रॉपर्टी विच इज नॉट वेरी गुड लुकिंग उसकी किचन अपडेशन रिक्वायर्ड है फ्लोरिंग अपडेट करनी है पेंट करना है सब कुछ करना है सो देर ऑल ऑफ वर्क इन द हाउस यू आर एक्चुअली बाइंग अ हाउस ऑफ द मार्केट एंड देन यू आर रेनोवेटिंग दैट हाउस and renovations ke baad you are renting it out to tenants and because you have renovated the house you can actually charge a lot more rent and then you refinance the entire house again iske upar puri ek video ban sakti hai but this is also what you are trying to do here is that because you are renting it out long term to long term tenants you are actually investing for cash flow now there is a difference between burst strategy and a flip we'll talk about that when we talk about investing for equity but this one is very much a part of investing for cash flow now like again, any other investing there are, there are certain watch outs that we need to take care of when we are investing for cash flow and the number one watch out is that you need to hold this property or be able to hold this property and sorry for the writing here for long term we need to make sure that you are able to hold this property long term only then this will actually make sense you are not flipping the property you are just putting it on rent so that you get the cash flow the rents which are a far outweighing the expenses every single month and you build a portfolio of passive income hopefully 10 20 30 years down the line and the second thing that a lot of people miss when you are investing for cash flow is that you need to make sure that you have 12 months of expenses logged into your savings when you are investing for cash flow तो जब हमें कैलगरी में घर खरीदा था ना तो बहुत सारे लोगों ने हमें रीच आउट करा दे सेट दैट यू नो वैकेंसी होती है ये नहीं होता वो नहीं होता बहुत सारे नेगेटिव कमेंट्स आए बहुत सारे पॉजिटिव कमेंट्स भी आए कि अरे हमें भी करना है कैलगरी में इन्वेस्ट हमें भी बताओ कैसे करा एंड वन थिंग दैट वी नीड टू मेक श्योर इज दैट यू एक्चुअली कैन कवर ट्वेल्व मंथ्स ऑफ एक्सपेंसिस इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू रेंट इट आउट बिकॉज दैट विल बी अ डिजास्टर फॉर रेसिपी इफ यू डोंट सो इट्स रियली इंपॉर्टेंट वेन यू आर इन्वेस्टिंग ऑफ कैश फ्लो दैट यू आर प्रिपेयर फॉर एक्सपेंसिस फॉर इंस्टेंस इफ यू हैव टू थाउजेंड डॉलर ऑफ एक्सपेंसिस इंक्लूडिंग मॉगेज इंक्लूडिंग इंश्योरेंस इंक्लूडिंग प्रॉपर्टी मैनेजर इंक्लूडिंग एवरीथिंग इफ यू हैव टू थाउजेंड डॉलर ऑफ एक्सपेंसिस फॉर दिस प्रॉपर्टी दैट यू बॉट यू नीड टू मेक श्योर दैट यू हैव ट्वेंटी फोर थाउजेंड डॉलर एट लीस्ट ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड डॉलर लॉक डबे इन सेविंग्स इन केस यू आर नॉट एबल टू रेंट इट आउट अगर रेंट आउट हो भी गया तब भी कई बार बेसमेंट फ्लड हो गई कई बार कुछ हो गया कोई खर्चा आ गया कोई कुछ टूट जाता है कोई ड्राई वॉल डैमेज हो गई सम टेनेंट्स फॉर एक्चुअली नॉट गुड एंड दिस पॉइंट द हाउस 
all those can actually stack up in terms of expenses so you need to make sure when you are investing for cash flow you are covered for 12 months ab chahe ye jo 12 months ke expenses hain ye kahin pe invested ho but it should be available liquid chahe wo tfsa mein hai aur wahan se 12000 dollar nikalne pade agar roof fix karni hai so be it but it should be with you you should not go further in debt if something happens with the house and you need to fix that This one is really important because when you are investing in real estate location plays a critical role especially when you want to rent it out for instance jo hamare tenants hai kitchener wale condo mein they do not have a car now we need to make sure that we are buying when we are buying for cash flow we need to make sure that we are buying in an area where public transport is there if they have kids school should be there there should be good schools therefore the tenants will actually prefer your house over the others yes फैंसी होना चाहिए घर बड़ा है छोटा है ऑल दैट इज गुड बट इट्स रियली इंपॉर्टेंट दैट द लोकेशन इट शुड बी क्लोज टू एट लीस्ट यू नो इट शुड बी वॉकेबल डिस्टेंस टू द नियरेस्ट ग्रोसरी स्टोर यू शुड नॉट नेसेसरली रिक्वायर अ कार फॉर इंस्टेंस ये वाला जो घर हमने रेंट करा है द बिगेस्ट रीजन वाई वी रेंटेड दिस हाउस ओवर एवरी अदर हाउस दैट वॉज अवेलेबल टू वर्स इन किचन ऑफ वॉटर कैम्ब्रिज रीजन वॉज दैट दिस इज जस्ट एट हंड्रेड मीटर्स फ्रॉम द नियरेस्ट वॉलमार्ट सो इट्स रियली इंपॉर्टेंट दैट द लोकेशन एंड द रिसर्च इज two point when you are investing in a real estate property now let's talk about the third kind of investment which is basically investing for equity ab unlike when you are investing for cash flow in this case what's happening is that your rent that you are getting is actually not enough to cover for expenses ab aap bologe ki fir khareedna hi kyon hai ghar the reason why you buy this house still even if you are actually negative cash flow is because this is in an area which will appreciate in future now the biggest watch out here is that this is very very risky for example jin logon ne january and february mein invest kara tha properties ke andar now they are actually having regrets why because the property values have actually declined by about 20% so whoever invest ab agar rehna hai ghar mein that's fine you know even if the property value where you are actually living theek hai thoda sa regret hoga ki nahi hame thoda sa kam mil jata nahi hame thoda bada ghar mil jata so house for shelter in a market which is inflated and you buy at the top of the market it's still okay because you bought a house that you can afford but if you are buying for equity in a market which is very high and then the market declines that's disaster because that actually means that you are negative cash flow and it also means that you will not be able to make equity you are upside down on your house and you don't have enough equity in the house and if you sell the house you will actually sell it at a loss a one other form of investment jo bahut zyada famous hai bahut zyada notorious hai in a market like canada is flipping houses now flipping houses is a form of investing for equity because you buy a house which is not that good kuch kharab hai toota hua hai you know it's all run down house you are then renovating the entire house for example if in a place like hamilton because you know i was just assessing a property in hamilton so for instance you are buying a 400000 dollar house in hamilton this is not a very good looking house it requires a lot of work flooring change karni hai sab kuch karna hai and you spend about 75000 dollars of your own money or you can take private funds as well it just depends on your risk appetite but you invest this so total will be 475000 dollars plus renovation mein 3 mahine lagenge aap kisi tenant ko nahi rakh sakte so 3 mahine ke expenses bhi isme jodoge for instance everything came out to about 500000 dollars and then you are able to sell this house for 650 so this basically is your capital gains and this is how you invest and flip houses but again it's really dangerous because if someone bought this 400000 dollar house in january and february this year and now he wants to flip it it's not a guarantee that even after spending so much money you can at least you know sell this house for 650000 dollars this is just an example this is not a real example but what i am trying to say is that this kind of investment is really really risky now the other thing that you need to take care of other than the entire investment is risky is that location again plays a really important role because what we need to think about when we are buying for equity is who is buying the house who is buying the house for you in the short term 6 months 8 months 9 months and the people who are buying this house that you bought for equity is either people who are buying for shelter or people who are buying for cash flow and in either of the situations you need to make sure that your location is good you have good school district there you know the uh, you know you have grocery stores there you have public transport there because only then it would make sense for people who are buying for shelter and people who are buying for cash flow to invest and take the house off you 
So guys, one disclaimer here, this is actually not one of my favorite investments. I would rather go for cash flow than for equity, but there's one kind of investment that I actually made and that actually makes sense to do when you are investing for equity is pre-construction. When you're buying pre-construction, you do not have any expenses in the beginning because you have just put a deposit and said that, okay, in three years down the line, I'll actually get this house and I'll, then is when my mortgage will start. So if you're buying a pre-construction and locking the price today, you obviously have to do your own research on which builder to go for or what's up due diligence. We made a whole video when we bought pre-construction. But this actually is a good way to invest for equity. And what is this? There are two types of pre-constructions, right? One is with an assignment sale, which means that when you buy a house today and you make your deposits and when it's time to close the house, you actually sell the house before getting a mortgage and you take your profits and you do whatever you want with that money. You obviously have to pay capital gains on that, but still you have won a lot of money in the two or three years that the building was constructing. The other form is where you actually close the house and then put it on rent. And yes, you are on negative cash flow, but in one year, six months, seven months, eight months, you actually sell the house to someone who is buying for shelter or buying for cash flow. But this is one form of investment that I actually like when you are investing for equity. Uh, but otherwise, I would not probably be a massive fan of fixer uppers or uh, you know, flipping the houses, burr is something that I'll still do, but that's investing for cash flow and not for equity. And guys, one last thing when you're buying a house for either equity or cash flow gains is that you need a backup. Now, one of the backups that I talked about is that you have 12 months ke expenses. Hone so, like I said, $2,000 agar hai, to into 12, $24,000 saved up, or you should be able to go and live into the house yourself. That's the fallback plan that we have for our pre-construction houses. That's the fallback plan that I have even for Calgary house. Because if something is wrong, if we don't have a house value, we don't have rent, we don't have to pay for 6 months, okay, we don't have to pay for 12 months, we don't have to pay for 6 months, I'll actually go there, live there for 2 or 3 months till the time I'm able to figure out what to do with that house. Because in some cases, in most cases, the first option should not be to sell at a loss. Because then all the investment that you have done will go into the realtor fee and if the market has gone down, it will just be eroded and Sara jitna bhi effort kara hai, time spent kara hai, that will actually go to waste. So the last thing that we should do is sell the house when we have bought it for equity or for cash flow and our backup plan can be that we can actually go and live into the house till the time we figure out what to do with it. Now last but not the least, this mystery investment that you make and this basically is called F O M O. This basically is called FOMO investing. FOMO for those of you who don't know means fear of missing out. This is the kind of investing that you see potato talkies, a YouTuber, some random guy who is talking about on YouTube that they bought three properties and you buy because they bought it. Do not invest into real estate due to FOMO because that is the worst that you can do and you will regret that decision every single day after you lose money into it. That's the fourth kind of investment, that's FOMO investing, that's something that we should always stay away from and guys, I am not expecting everyone to be an expert. When I first invested in the first time, I do a lot of mistakes, I do a lot of mistakes, but always talk to experts, talk to a mortgage broker, talk to a realtor, talk to someone who has done this before, talk to a mentor, have a mentor. For example, all my investing, people think that I put my mind in my mind, it's not that. All my investing is actually bounced off my mentor who has two decades of experience of investing. A lot of people who reach out to me, a lot of learnings that I have, a lot of this that I'm talking about, I've actually learned it from my mentor. So a better way of doing investing is investing with someone else who has done it before. So find those people and learn from them and only then do invest into real estate. And guys, you will not do a lot of mortgage but real estate is actually not for everyone. And there are better ways of investing if you are not wanting to put in the work to do the research, to have expenses. This is very work required hota hai. and only if you are willing to put in the work, active work into real estate investing, it is for you. Otherwise, do not invest out of FOMO. That was the four kinds of investors that we have in real estate market. And like you can see, one kind of investor can be buying for shelter or can be buying for cash flow or buying for equity. And if they are seasoned investors, they'll never buy out of FOMO. That's all we have for today. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.